Hi guys. Hi, can you hear me? Hola, hola. Hi, good evening. Hi, good evening. Can you hear me? Yes. All right, very good. Hi, Daniel. Hi, Rocio. Hi. Annie, Ellie. Ellie, hi. <laughs> How nice are you? Fine. Happy to have you in class. <laughs> yes. Very good, Ellie. Yes, nice. Yesterday, I don't can. Enter. I couldn't. You couldn't enter the class. class. Enter. Okay. Very good. Okay, that's okay. But it, it, I'm so glad to see you. Very nice. All right. <laughs> Thank I, you. <laughs> Daniel Coreas also. All right. Everybody else. Oh my goodness. Rocio, how was your day today? Your microphone is off, Rocio. Walter, hi, Walter. Hi, Walter. Hello. Aha, uh -huh, Rocio, how was your day? Uh, fine, fine, very busy. <laughs> All right, yes, I can imagine, Rocio. All right, very good. I have to do many things. Uh, right now, I am, I am outside in a gas station. In a, oh! Yes, I, I was. I am waiting for my son. He's in a meeting or in a re. How do you say? Well, in a, in a home, at home, uh, in a home of okay. uh, a classmate or something? Uh -huh. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay, very good. Okay, so hi, Orlando. Welcome. All right, Walter, very nice to see you. Uh, thank you. All right, Daniel. Hi, Daniel. Hi, teacher. I have Daniel Coreas and I have another Daniel. Oh my goodness. Okay. And I have Daniel Del Cid. I have three Daniels. Oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> All right, very good. Well, the more the merrier. Uh, All right. Um, Annie, can you hear me? Cause she's, I'm sorry guys, but right now Annie Garay is texting me that she cannot we cannot hear her, but I don't know if she can hear me. I'll wait for her to text me. Okay, so guys, yesterday we were talking about passive voice, okay? And we were talking about, there were two things special about passive voice that we talked about yesterday. We were talking about passive voice, simple past. And also, we were talking about this, the doer of the action, okay? So when you say, for example, eh, this movie was uh, filmed by eh, Walter, all right? Or this class was taught by Jessica, all right? So whenever you need to make emphasis on the doer of the action, then you have to use by and then you... Um, say the name of the person that is making it, all right? So apparently you guys understood that topic without any inconvenience, is that right? Or you have any questions about that that we studied yesterday? Or we are okay? I'm okay. Okay, all right. Okay, so. Okay. Uh, okay, very good. So um, the idea is for us to practice a little bit about pronunciation also. Were you able to watch the platform today? Guys, yes. did you study the yes. platform? Yes. Yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. So we talked, I mean, what comes right after the topic is um, pronunciation and we were uh, making emphasis on the O. All right, remember that in English, something that is tricky is the pronunciation of the vowels, okay? It's not the same as in Spanish. We have five vowels, five sounds. In English, we have five vowels, but every vowel has a different sound, and that's what makes it complicated sometimes, okay? So do you remember one of the or pronunciations that 
uh, you had to look or go over on the um, platform? Yes. The go in hot. Okay. Okay, very good. The all in good. The all in good in the word good and the old in the no uh, okay i don't know the, right. the last one <laughs> okay okay so what i'm gonna do right now i wanna share with you part of the uh, platform because i want you to work on it right now um hold on hi there's noemi she's very smiley <laughs> But she's not here right now. Uh -huh, Noemi, second class, and she's not with us. She's gonna get in trouble. All right. So I just wanna see here. All right. Okay. Announced in the following words. Can you listen? Not. Yes. yes. Top. No. Don't. Do. Food. One. Love. Oops. I hold on, hold on, hold on. No. I just want to stay here. All right. This is what I want you to do. Can you take a picture of this right now? Or you can copy the phonetic symbols that we have here at top. All right. Just copy the, the symbols or take a picture, whatever you and what I want you to do right now because I want to practice a little bit of pronunciation I want you to go back to your group so I'm going to send you to your groups and I want you to come up with more examples when the O changes on pronunciation all right so right now you have not <clears throat> top no don't do food all right one and love all right so copy the phonetic symbols on your notebook or on a piece of paper and once you're ready let me know so i can send you to your group okay is it clear what we're going to do right now yes it's clear yes no i mean yes. you're here i was saying that you were gonna get in trouble because you were not here ha ha no <laughs> Noemi is ignoring me. Noemi, are you listening to me? Hi, Jennifer. Hi, Eduardo. <laughs> Hi, teacher. Good evening. Good evening, Jennifer. Good evening, teacher. Hi, Noe. Speaking of the devil, ya apareció usted, señorita. Yo estaba diciendo que le va a regañar. Segunda clase no había entrado. <laughs> All right. Finish copying the phonetic symbols. Yes. Yeah. Yes. All right. Very good. So if you notice yeah. right now, we're talking about or we're, we're going to be practicing with four different sounds of the O. OK, so the O is in O and then the, the like O, like and then the like a U, like U and then like an O. Uh, all right. Which is it's not an A uh, as like we say it in Spanish. It's like an O. Uh, all right. Like one. All right. So. I'm going to send you right now to your groups, and this is what I want you to do. With your groups, I want you to think of words that, of course, use the vowel O in the different sounds. And I want you to think about, let's talk about four, four, uh, four words per, per uh, sound, all right? So let's try to do that, and then we're going to practice it. You understand? Yes. Yes, I do. All right, okay. So I'm gonna um, I'm gonna send you to your breakout rooms and then work on that, guys. Please, you're gonna work in yeah. yesterday, so make sure that you accept the invitation so everybody has a partner to work with. There you go. Flor, did you just go in? Oh, okay, I think she left. Hi. 
Hi, Jose. All right, Aunt Ani. Mic's not working. Don't worry. I'm just jumping in. I'm in and out. Okay. Yeah, because I hear you and then you kind of go away. <laughs> right. Okay. You know that I have um um that's all right. Okay. Ani, I don't know what to do, Ani. <laughs> Jose, can you hear me right now? Yeah, I can hear you. I have an issue with Ani Garay. She's right now with us, but she cannot, um, her mic is not working. So, but she says that that happened to her the like the last year and she did something, but she doesn't remember what she did. I don't know mm. if um, her microphone is just muted because like, she cannot mm. hear me or she cannot, I mean, I cannot hear her anyway, so I don't know. What I'll text her and I'll and tell her. Restart her, her, her computer. She was, is she on a phone or she's on a, on a computer? I don't know. I'll ask her. You should like restart the phone or computer and maybe that will work. Okay. All right. Cool. All right. Thank you. Annie, can you hear me? I was sending you a text on your on the chat, Annie. Ani, Ani, I'm texting you right now. All right, all right, Ani. Hi, Daniel. Hi, teacher. Hi, Orlando. How are you doing? Hi, Hi teacher. Uh, we have four, four words for the first one. Okay. The first pronunciation, O. Oh. Okay. 
we have not, okay, not, mm -hmm. plot, okay, and pilot. Pilot. All right. Also, pot can be another one, right? It's like a closed. A one. pot. Uh huh. Okay. All right. Nice. Thank you. Very okay. good. Well done. Good job. Uh, thanks. All right. I'm gonna go check mm -hmm. on some other group. Count. Yeah, yeah, vamos cuatro. Excuse me. <laughs> Touch. <laughs> Hello. Hi. Hi, teacher. <laughs> How are you? You're speaking in Spanish, Ellie. <laughs> Just give me a second. I need to go see someone and then I'm coming back with you, okay? Okay. Hi, Elmer. Hi, my dear teacher. You are late, my dear student. Yes, teacher, I late. What happened? I have to work, teacher. Oh, come on. Yeah. But your classes are super important. <laughs> yes. How do you say, me extraña, magaña? Uh-huh, whatever. Okay, I'm going to say you to a I, group I, right now. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I después, teacher, I, déjeme allí tranquilito. Estoy uh, tranquilo. Aquí. No, you have to I go como... practice your pronunciation. No, hay después. No, como que hay después. Hay pop... Sí, teacher. Hay no, después. ah, sí, pero es que esa niña no puede oír. Sí, ¿no? está bueno, está bueno. Ay, déjelo, déjelo tranquilo. Lo que está bueno, lo que está bien, hay que dejarlo tranquilo. Ajá, uh -huh. all right. I need you to practice sí. your pronunciation by yourself then. Ok. So right now, Elmer, we're working with this. I'm just gonna show you this. My dear teacher. Hola. I, I, ah, oh, no, no, mm -hmm. don't stop. Mm -hmm. eh, yo tengo, eh, la clase de ayer me causó un tantito de, de, de hecho ya la estuve viendo y la he estado practicando, pero me causó un tanto de, de duda, o sea, de, de, de no de duda, sino de... me cuesta. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Entonces, yo estuve haciendo los ejercicios, se los voy a mandar y okay. mañana, obviamente. Okay. Y, y me lo revisa allí y para, ir, para buscar más y practicar con eso. ¿verdad? Ok, ok. De hecho, uh -huh. hoy vamos a seguir un poquito con eso, porque hoy vamos a seguir con el passive voice, pero sin el by, sin el uh -huh. que la acción. Ajá, uh -huh, me imagino. All right. All right. so, ahorita, Elmer, lo que están haciendo your classmates is they are working or they are looking for more words where the pronunciation is like an O, like an O, like uh -huh. an O, and like an O. Okay. Right. So, that, that, that's, uh, that's lesson is then the, in the platform. I, I, I watch that lesson teacher right. um, make the, the exercise. Yeah. My, my yes. All right. Okay. And you watch your favorite teacher on the video. <laughs> yes. A uh, beautiful woman in the um, video. <laughs> I, I don't know who that lady is. Anyway, I have to go. Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, teacher. Under, the, fear, the fear is O. Oh. Mm -hmm. I have a stop, clock, mop, topper. Top yes. Clock, mop, yeah. Sounds good. Clock. The second is O. Mm -hmm. I have, uh, we have touch, cloudy, out, dangerous. Cloudy. cloudy. Mm -hmm. Dangerous. Okay. Count, okay. the last one. The count. Yes. Okay. Uh, the the third is U. Mm -hmm. U food. We don't have don't have. You not know Under. Foot. What about foot? Under. Do food. Foot. Okay. Under. Food. No, because that's the vowel U. 
And it's supposed to be the vowel O sounding like a O. O. U. U. Under, uncountable, oh. ugly. The sound must be the, like ooh. Ooh, okay. Mm -hmm. I was thinking in, in the word cool. Okay. Uh, hood. Cool. C O O L. Cool. But oh, hood yeah. also, Daniel. Hood, it's hood. okay also. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Food, foot. We have mood. All right. Yes. Mm -hmm. Understood. Okay. Wood. Mm -hmm. Okay. And uh, we have uh, maybe a uh, root or. Ah, uh, but the spelling is different. It's not an okay. O. For root, it's R U D E. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ah, okay. All right. Good. Good job. Yeah. Teacher. Uh huh. Uh, and the word roof. Also. Ah, roof. Yeah. Okay. Food. Mm -hmm. ah, okay, thank you. All right. No, must. Hi, Eduardo. Hi, Rocio. Hi, Flor. Hi. How are you doing? Fine. We are trying. We would try. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, pronunciation is always a little bit tricky, eh? Yes. Uh -huh. All right. Flor? Flor, can you hear me? Flor, Flor, can you hear me, Flor? They, they need to turn on the mic. Yeah, you need microphone. to turn on your microphone, Flor. Flor, can you unmute your microphone? Can you go to the bottom of your screen? Yeah, there you go. Okay. So, <laughs> sorry, I, am, I have problems in the song. Oh, but I listen to you perfectly fine yes. right now. Oh, okay. Yes. So, Flor, you're new. You're a new student. Yes. Uh, uh, yesterday, I don't know. I don't know the receive the, the class. Ah, you didn't receive it. All right. Okay, but that's okay. Well, Flor, my name is Jessica Cerritos. Okay, so I'm your um, nice facilitator. You. I'm your teacher. Yes, thank you. Nice to meet you too. So you guys are working <coughs> with Eduardo and Rocio with the pronunciation. Are you almost finishing? Guys? Yes, I, we, we, we try to, to we um, re read or pronunciation some okay. words yeah. different uh, uh, sounds okay good good okay very good so i'm gonna give you like one more minute or two and then we're gonna go back to the main session all right okay good. okay I, it's okay hi teacher hi noe hi daniel daniel what happened hi. yesterday um, you I, were was, sleeping. I was sleeping. I was tired. Oh, come on, Daniel. <laughs> I'll be honest. Okay. And I, I went to the, the bed early. Okay, all right. Okay, we I'm sorry. <laughs> all right, so, but I'm happy to see you, okay? I'm happy you're back with us. Me too, me too. Very good. I'm very glad. I'm very glad to see you again. Yeah, thank you. Yes, and Noemi is yeah. behaving. Ya lleva dos clases de dos. Es. Es una clase. Of course. Very good. Y él me acaba de entrar. Qué raro. He's the champion. Yes. All right. Estamos hablando con Daniel, pero... Solo íbamos a hacer lo de la pronunciación, porque como yo entré tarde y todo eso. Sí, la idea era encontrar, acuérdense que en inglés las vocales se pronuncian diferente, ¿verdad? Entonces, en este caso, estamos trabajando con la O y las cuatro variaciones de pronunciación que la O tiene. Entonces, la idea era buscar cuatro palabras con ese tipo de pronunciación, con la O, con la OU, la U y la A. 
All right, like, oh. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you finished? Eh, sí, nos okay. ayudamos. Okay. Sí, creo. Okay, very good. Okay, mm -hmm. I'm going to give you like, I'm going to give everybody one more minute and then we're going to go back and we'll, we'll continue talking about passive voice a little bit, okay? Like more okay. exercises. Uh -huh. ah, okay, teacher. All right, thank you. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Here you go. Okay. All right, there Just practice. Hi, yeah. Daniel. Hi, Danny. Are you finished? Uh, yes. Yeah. We guess. <laughs> You guess, all right. May I hear your pronunciations? Uh, for example, dog, cost, okay. job, loss, lot, son, rock, mm -hmm. lock. Okay. With O, co, soul, load, lock, order. Yes? Okay. Uh, order. order is the last one? The last one, the pronunciation, O, oh. O. Oh. All right, yeah, I get it. Okay, okay, I get it, yes. Yeah. With uh, uh, pronunciation like U in Spanish, uh, mm -hmm. cook, soon, mm -hmm. moon, mm -hmm. cook. Yeah. Cool. And the last one, uh, once, walk. All right, yes. Floor, want, yeah. want. <laughs> Yeah, okay, very good. Now it's interesting because usually we mispronounce love. We in Spanish, well, not in Spanish, in, in our English we say love, but it's not like an O, oh, it's like love. It's like an O oh sound. Uh, All right, no. so we say I love you. We don't say I love you. So we, yeah. we mispronounce yeah. the love. It's not love, it's love. All right, so it's, it's like love. an uh, it's oh. <laughs> But it sounds like oh. an ah. Uh. Somehow, all right, it's not as like an old cerrada, it's like love. Love. Right? Mm -hmm. So usually we mispronounce when you say I love you. That's not, that's in Spanish. Love. Love. <laughs> all la, right? la, like Manica, for example, no. Uh huh, something like that, yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, yes, very good. Mm hmm. Okay. Nice. Very good. Okay. Uh, I'm about to close the rooms and we're going to go back to the uh, main session because this unit talks about um, passive voice. And if you notice on the platform, we were supposed to like talk about pronunciation and then again about passive voice without by. All right. So that's what we're going to do again today. We're going to combine some exercises. All right. All right. Okay. Okay. Very good. Okay. So I'm going to leave right now and then in a minute we're coming back. Annie, were you able to get the sound, Annie? No. Honey, honey. All right, just give me a quick second, guys, please. I just want to find an exercise for you to practice again. Can you hear me? Yes, I can. Yeah. Right. Oh, okay, because everybody went quiet today. Oh no, I said I lost everybody. <laughs> Hi. Who's Hi. That? Was that Annie? Hello. Hi. Hi. Hello. Can you hear me? Yes, we can, Annie. <laughs> Excellent. Yeah. Uh, I get it. <laughs> All right. So computer. what did you do? It's my, my, it's my computer. It's not working very well. The, the sound. Okay. Mm -hmm. So right now, are you on, on the cell phone or the computer? In my computer. I restart my uh, computer. Oh, okay, okay. I change the configuration. All right. Ah, that's well today. 
this moment is very well. Yeah, yeah, I can hear you perfectly. Yes, I'm glad you can you can be there. Okay, just give me a second. I'm trying to look for something here. Yeah, there you go. Okay, so um, while I look for this, if you keep on like if you kept on studying the um, hold on. If you kept on studying the platform, one of the topics like for today's class was pronunciation and as well as uh, more passive, but this time without by. Did you study that? It's pretty much the same as we did yesterday. But what I want you to do right now is um, I want you to switch passive to active voice. Yesterday, remember that you guys thought of um, active sentences and you switch them to passive, that's right? Yes. Okay, so what I want you guys to do now is to think about the other way around, all right? I want you to think of the passive sentence and then switch it to active sentence. You know what I'm saying? So for example, yes. if I tell you guys, um, like the example that we have on the platform, I'm coming back here. The example that we have on the platform that says, uh, the book was, written by my sister all right and then you have to switch it back to active how would you do that danielle if i said the book or this book was written by my sister how would you change that sentence to active voice my sister wrote the book yeah my sister wrote the book. simple as that so this is what i want you to do i want you to think Five passive sentences, simple past, because right now we're stuck with simple past. All right. Five passive sentences. And then, well, actually, hmm, three simple, three passive sentences, because I'm working, we're working in pairs. So I want you to write, I want you to think about three passive sentences, simple past. Then you're going to tell your classmate so he or she can switch it back to active voice. You understand? Yes. And then vice versa. If I finish and I'm working with Elmer, when we finish, then Elmer gives me his three passive sentences and I switch them back to active. Okay? Okay. All right. So I'm going to send you again to your uh, rooms. All right. So with the person that you were working with, now Annie is able to practice because she able to fix the problem that she was having all right so let's go back to our breakout rooms and work from passive to active you may use the by or you may omit it okay because that was like the topic for this class like omitting the by remember that the by we use it when we want to make emphasis on the doer of the action when we want to share with the person who did the action or when the doer of the action is important, okay? That's when we use the by. When it's not important, we just omit it. So that's pretty much what we have to do right now. Okay, so what are your rooms? Daniel, did you receive the invitation, Daniel Del Cid and Jennifer Acosta? No, no, I, no. I don't receive the invitation. I can see you here. Hmm. Hold on. Don Furula. No, el es que usted no estaba. <laughs> usted no estaba, señor. Ya va, complicado. Spanish. I know. I don't know why you guys are not invited because um. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna move you to room number five, but immediately I'm gonna move you back to room number six. So you work together again, okay? Number six. Yeah, so I'm, right now oh, you're okay. going to number five, but as soon as that happens, you're gonna go back to number six. So just make sure that you click okay and okay and okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right.
No les cae la invitación. Uh, yes, I am in the six. I guess. Hold on. No? Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm going to send you to six right now. Hold on. Yes, yes, yes. I guess I am in room six. No, you're still in the main session, Daniel. I don't know what's happening, but Jennifer already went to the to room six and okay. she's waiting for you. <laughs>
Phong. Phong. Down low. Down. Low. Down low. Mm-hmm. I got a push. Mm-hmm. Are you guys finished? Yes. Uh, yes, teacher. All right, so can I hear one of your examples, please? In the first. Stop, clock, mop, police, horse, horse, work, song. Oh no, but I'm talking about the sentences, Ellie, and Walter of passive voice. The were you not uh, working on the sentences? No, no, make the sentences only words. Oh, no, but um, okay, okay, that's okay, that's okay, don't worry. Just let me go, let me just go check on another group and then we're gonna come back, okay? Okay, okay. hi guys, hi. Were you able to finish uh, the sobering. sentences? Sorry, sorry. Were you able to finish the sentences? sentences. Yes, yes, I, 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 I practiced the, 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 the words and some all. <laughs> All right, okay. Did you make any sentences with passive voice? No, with passive voice, no. no. Okay, oh, so, okay. Oh, yeah. All right, okay, okay. We're gonna go back to the room right now, okay? We, we, okay. we are going to, to practice with passive voice, okay? Yeah, but I think I don't, um, maybe the instructions were not clear, but uh, we're gonna go back, that's okay. Okay. Just give me one Is second. That... Okay. Okay. Mm. No way. Hola, uh, teacher. Were you doing sentences with passive voice? Um, lo de, de last, de ayer? No, no, Just no, no, like now. I don't know what happened. I guess you guys did not hear me. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, but not only you, everybody. I don't know. I'm like, oh my goodness. No. Ah, no. Es que nosotros, bueno, pues, yo pensaba que nos había olvidado porque usted dijo, en un minuto vamos a regresar al grupo. Y ya no regresamos al grupo. Oh my God. I know what happened. <laughs> Oh my goodness, oh, we need to go back. <laughs> uh -huh. No, 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 but you know what? Somehow, you like most of you did not come back, but some of you did. Ah. For some of you guys are working on assignment, and for the other ones, you have no idea what I'm talking about. <laughs> ah, bueno, dale. That's okay, that's okay, but it's not my fault. <laughs> Oh, my gosh. Okay, okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> Teacher, Daniel necesita eh, que le manden el enlace otra vez de para subir a la plataforma. Para subir a la plataforma, what do you mean? Para no, 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 este, para mañana, mañana, Teacher, yo le voy a decir a, a creo que Marvi se llama. Que me eh, Jonathan, la ahora, ahora está Jonathan. Ah, Jonathan, sí, ah, es que ah. lo... Ok, porque me había olvidado ah. la contraseña. Ah, pero... <laughs> buena, Lena. <Daniel. laughs> mañana le escribo. All right, ¿no? okay, okay, okay. Very good, okay. Hold on. Pues sí, okay. vamos a regresar. <laughs> okay. Quite <Okay. laughs> a Hi, teacher. Hello. Guys, I want to apologize. I don't know what happened. But half of the group was stuck on the, <laughs> on, the <laughs> on the breakout rooms and the other half was with me. 
So I don't know what happened, but now I think everybody is with me right now, right? Oh my goodness, I'm so sorry. Le perdonamos, le perdonamos esto y otra, teacher. I think you know me. De repente no me me escribe y me dice porque se nos ha olvidado. I'm like, no. Oh my goodness. I'm so sorry, all right? But I don't know what happened. Y todavía le da risa, qué barbaridad. Antes de ir, ni modo. I'm sorry, I really apologize. All right, okay. So this is what you were supposed to do. The idea was that <laughs> you were supposed to think yesterday, remember we were talking about passive voice and we did from active voice to passive voice, yes? Yes. Okay. But today the exercise that you were supposed to be working on was vice versa of a passive sentence and switch it back to active in simple past. All right. My dear teacher. Hola. May I talk with, with you in Spanish, please? No. Do it in English. No. <laughs> <laughs> Mire, eh, entendía que el pasado participio es, eh, teníamos que aprenderlo igual a pura memoria, vea. Of course. Por no decir otro. O sea, es, es, <laughs> es, uh, no hay una regla, no hay reglas no. para esto. Cada que... verbo tiene su, su vaina, por How do you say vaina? Ya sabía yo. <risa> hola, Walter, ¿cómo estás? Hola, hola, hola. La única uh, regla, mi amigo Elmer, es, pues nada, aprendérselo. <risa> aprendérselo, vea. Yes. Ok, La, thank you, teacher. Que los, las past participles de los verbos regulares está bien porque es el mismo del pasado, ¿sí? <risa> Sí, eso le iba a decir. Es, al final es el mismo pasado simple. Sí, es, es que regular. estábamos viéndolo con, con Ani. Eh, okay. Y realmente eh, eh, en los regulares no hay mucho, no hay mucho que, que hacer, ¿verdad? pero right. ya se complican los irregulares. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Right. Yes? Yes? Yo le decía a Elmer que yo sentía así como un poco, yo como confuso porque es como que es similar la oración. Okay. No, no le encuentro así como mucho sentido a la, de la oración de, de la que con el pasivo. Solo sea, como okay. can, cambiar el, la estructura. Sí, lo que pasa es que lo que ahí sucede, Ani, es que en la voz activa, el énfasis de la oración recae en el sujeto. Uh -huh. sí, yo le digo, mi hermana escribió el, el, uh, escribió el libro. Entonces, lo importante es que mi hermana lo escribió, no el que escribió. Ajá. ¿Sí? Mientras que yo le digo, el libro fue escrito por mi hermana, entonces lo que, eh, lo que es importante o lo que quiero resaltar es que el libro fue escrito. All right? Ahora, Ajá. puedo omitir el por mi hermana porque puede ser innecesario, puede ser que no sepa quién lo escribió, puede ser que yo no le quiera decir quién lo escribió. Ok, entonces ahí la diferencia Annie, entre la voz activa y la voz pasiva es que quiero yo que sea más enfático en lo que estoy comunicando, en lo que estoy diciendo, uh -huh. en quién lo escribió o el que escribieron. ¿Sí me entiendes? Sí, sí. Entonces, es por la acción o el hacedor, vea. Exacto, ajá, por eso tenemos, el, en la voz activa tenemos toda la acción recae o toda la, la, la el énfasis recae en el subject. Y el objeto del book. My sister wrote the book. All right. En la voz pasiva le doy vuelta. The book pasa al principio. El objeto vuelve, se pasa al principio de mi oración porque eso es lo importante y lo que yo quiero resaltar. Ok. 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 All right. Thank you. Eso sería como como lo más, eh, lo primordial en saber cuál es la diferencia entre la voz activa y la voz pasiva. ¿verdad? Al final, estoy como diciendo casi que lo mismo, mi hermana escribió el libro ah. o el libro fue escrito por mi hermana. Ajá. Pero hay algo que es más enfático que yo quiero sobresaltar. Sobresal que sobresalga. Ajá, que sobresalga. <laughs> Me voy a quedar muda. No, Spanish, no English. All right. Very good. So that's important. Qué bueno de vez en cuando hablar el español, niña. Yes, of course. All right, you understand that? A ver, um, Daniel del Cid, regale una oración pasiva para que Elmer la pase a voz activa. Passive voice. Yes, passive voice, uh, Daniel. 
Okay. Um, the cake was eaten by my brother. <laughs> Ajá, el versito. Se dio a la fuga. <laughs> My brother is eat my no. yes no <laughs> no my the, answer, hey. the cake was eaten by my brother uh huh so Eddie uh -huh. my brother ate was the cake. cake my brother ate the cake it has to go ate back to simple past all right. Because you say the cake was eaten. When we talk about passive voice was there, and I know you were not in class yesterday, we use the verb be. In this case, because the sentence would have been the active sentence. I said, my brother ate the cake. The verb is in simple past. When I switch it to past, I need to use the simple past of the verb be. So in other words, was and were. All right, and then the piece in the past participle of the verb, okay? In the question where? Yeah. <laughs> Tomorrow, we're going to do some exercises with simple present, okay? Oh, like passive voice, simple present, okay? And then maybe tomorrow or, or the following day, we are going to be using um, mixed exercises. Some of them are going to be in present, some of them, they're going to be in past and you need to be able to recognize it, okay? Okay. All right? Okay. Very good. Let's see. Um, Jennifer Acosta, can you give uh, Ellie Larin, can you tell Ellie one sentence? No, no, Ellie, I'm sorry, because Ellie got it. Um, Jennifer, can you give a passive sentence to Noemi so she can switch it back to active voice? Okay. Okay. The picture of La Mona Lisa was painted by Picasso. Oh, my goodness. Uh -huh. uh, <clears throat> the Picasso paint the okay. painted the Mona Lisa. Very good. Yes. All right. Very good. Thank you. Orlando, passive. Uh, so let me see. So I said who? Orlando, right? So Orlando yeah. passive, so Eduardo can switch it to active. Uh, I am uh, a passive voice. Yes, you're a passive voice sentence and Eduardo will switch it to active. Okay. Um, my computer was prepared for my brother. By my brother, okay. Hi, uh -huh, Eduardo. Uh, my brother repaired yeah. my computer. Very good. Yes, very good. Rocio, think of a passive sentence and Flor can switch it back to active. Rocio, your microphone. The article was written in 1990. Oh, okay. 1990. Hmm. The article was written in 1990. Maybe in that in that case, um, we need the doer for her to switch it back to active. Hmm. You can say the article was written in 1990 by... Ah, uh, by, by. Mm -hmm. Well, I, uh, by somebody. <laughs> yeah, okay, okay. The, the, the article was written by somebody in 1990. All right, first, so how would you switch that to active? Florcita, your microphone is off. Enciende el micrófono, Flor. Lo tiene apagado. Yeah, okay, there you go, Flor. Yeah. Sorry, Rocío, es uh, uh, 
repeat, please. Sorry. The article was written by somebody in 1990. Uh, and, and, the, and, the, and the somebody 1990. Uh, for for reading for for writing. Okay, you need to switch it back to past, Flor. Let's see, uh, Daniel, can you help Flor, please? Daniel Mendes? Somebody Mendes? wrote the uh -huh. article. Yeah, right. So somebody wrote the article in 1990, maybe. Wait. All right? A, yes. All right. Okay, thank you. Yeah, I remember <laughs> that if the passive voice is in simple past, it's in simple past because they're using was or were plus the past participle. That means that when you switch it back to active, you need the verb in simple past. Yeah? And then tomorrow, okay. we're going to practice a little bit with passive voice simple present. Okay? Because we use that one a lot also. All right? All right. Okay, guys. Right. So we are finished the second class. Thank you very much for being here. And I'm very glad that I saw Ellie and uh, Walter, all right, and Daniel also, that they were not able to connect yesterday. The idea is for you to be in class every single day. Today, guys, I uploaded the video, but I was able to do it in the afternoon because I'm teaching a course right now for teachers. So I'm not able to do it early morning, but I'm going to do it during the day in case it all right so thank you okay. so much and i'll see you tomorrow thank you thank you